What's up, you saucy knaves? It's your friendly neighborhood, Matt, here, and welcome to Wagner and the Third Light, Episode 1. Now, this is a game I found when uh, searching for games on Game Jolt, and there was a recent game jam a couple of months ago, uh, Adventure Game Jam 2016. And I'm playing quite a few things from that, and there are some amazing things I've got in store on the channel, thanks to amazing developers making amazing games. And this was made in six days. And it looks incredibly promising. It's a first-person detective noir adventure game, is how it was described. And I've been very eager to get into this. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a different style of Let's Play than what I'm used to. I'm used to being loud and screaming and getting angry and whatnot. This is going to be a little more intimate of a series, I believe. I don't know how long the game is. I don't know if it's like an hour long or so. And they're already working on episode two. And with enough support, they'll be able to make Episode 2 officially. And I'm really excited for that. So, however many episodes this ends up being, I'm going to have the link to the game in the description below. You can check it out, you can play it for yourself, and go support the developers. Um, but with that being said, I am going to jump right in. Summer, 1989. Ooh, it's going to be story-based. All right, I'm at my desk, computer, bills. They're boring. I want to check them out. So many bills. Whew. I really need to sort these out. If only a good cause came along. Whoa. That was spoopy. A mouse. A mouse. I mean, why would anyone touch something called a mouse? You know, when he said, when you put it that way, that's a good point. I really don't feel like touching something named after a dirty rodent. You and me both, sister. <coughs> Hi, Mr. Wagner! Fucking hell, I almost had a heart attack! When did this guy get here? Hello, Ed. Mr. Wagner, it's Ed. From Fisherman's Widows, the insurance company? <laughs> yes, Ed, I know. Please call me Wagner. So, what can I do you for? I hear about the Polina. Tell me about the Polina. The Polina! Known to the bar manager and crew, which transported goods from the west to eastern Europe. Something happened that caused the ship to crash into the rocks on Friday night. Well, was this in the newspaper? It was, Wagner. I see, I see. So, so, so why did it crash? We're not sure, but we think the ship is faulty. We nearly got bankrupted by a similar case a few years ago, and this must not happen again. I can imagine. So, you want me to find out what happened on Friday? We want you to show that it was the ship at fault. I should go in with an open mind. You will go in the way we want you to. You are getting paid by us. This tone, I'm sorry, it's just... My job is at risk, too. I can't figure it out. I don't have the local touch. Well, I have too much. Take the case or don't take the case? Of course I'm going to take the case. By the way, you've only got to 10 a to figure it out. We're due to pay it tomorrow. And we don't want to. Mm. You do know I take my sweet time. You're the only detective in the vicinity. You'll do fine. Phil is an amazing partner. Are you patronizing me? You don't know I put the evidence in Phil. Sure. It's all me. Yep, so you'll take the case then. <sighs> yep, I'm on it. Fantastic. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Alright, so this I gotta take care of today. So what's with the computer though? Yeah, I don't feel like using this. I'm actually scared of it. I don't like the way it looks at me. This is supposed to be the future. Ooh, floppy disks. That would require me to use my computer, and I'd rather not do that. I'm on the edge. There's nothing floppy about these disks, let me tell you that. Wow, you said that with the utmost certainty. Hmm, doesn't do anything. Note to self, replace the light bulb. Maybe make sure it's checked and plugged in once in a while. This lamp has shown its light in so many cases. Such a shame it had to be put to rest. There's nothing of interest in this tray. Glad I could click on it anyway. 
This is where all my incoming mail goes. Shane, the last letter I had arrived about four months ago. Wait, that's Phil. What? What's happening, Phil? Not in the mood to talk, eh? I love this game. Okay, so just to recap. My name is Wagner. I'm a detective. I lead a boring life, I'm scared of computers, and my partner is a filing cabinet. I'm done cleaning Phil. Maybe need to feed him soon, too, though. <laughs> Alright, my best pal Phil. The stories we could tell, but only I probably will. Photocopier. I've often thought of photocopying my bum, but I've never done it. It's not too late. Sweet! Come on now, Phil, you know I'm kidding. Oh, so he's a sentient being. Okay. Interesting. Well, about that butt on the copier. Hold on. Hold on. I don't actually know if that was the sound of a photocopy or of a vibrator that was malfunctioning. Alright, let's go to the elevator. Come on, Phil, let's crack out with the case. Yeah, ooh. Oh, look at this. All right, should we go to the shipwreck? We should go right to the shipwreck and check it out. Oh, whoa, hello. Hi there, you know, you're, you got a giant rock lodged in your throat or maybe you just don't have a neck. Also, is that fish supposed to be on your shirt? This is Annie, a very pretty girl who works at the Mermaid Harp, the log above. She always wears a strange brooch that looks like a goldfish. She looks really distressed. Can I talk to her? Yeah. Hi, Annie, it's me, Wagner. Is something the matter? I suppose. Reminds me home. Wagner? Do I know you? You are Oni. You work at the bar, right? Didn't you have a gig on Friday night? We've met a couple of times. Oh, Wagner, yes. The private eye. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? How do you know me, Mr. Wagner? Do you know anything about the shipwreck this brooch you're wearing? It looks familiar. Um. Can I ask her out on can, can I ask her out on a date or something? Cause she's obviously turning me on hardcore. Um, do you know anything about the shipwreck? I no, I, I not really. I was working at the bar and it happened. I had a, my first gig. I'm not suspicious or anything. Okay, this brooch you're wearing it looks familiar. Oh, that's that's a family heirloom. It's I'm sorry, I'd rather not talk about it. My family was murdered by guppies when I was a little girl. I'm sorry, Mr. Wagner. I, I cannot talk right now. I... <laughs> Is something wrong? Can I help? I... I don't think so. It's... It's nothing. I'm just PMSing. Are you sure? You know, I'm a PI. I can handle things. It's... It's Daphne, my friend. I think she's PMSing, too. I mean, I think she's in trouble. I... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be here. If you want help, come find me at the bar later. And she's gone. She used her black magic. I think she likes me. What do you think, Phil? <sighs> Phil doesn't see it. Such a shame about the ship, right, Phil? Phil? Phil, you having a stroke? Ah, yeah, whatever. Hmm, the sea. I can't say anything about the sea. That's cool. What about the shipwreck? It really is a shame about the balena, right, Phil? It's a miracle that nobody died. Cue to all the rotting corpses on the underside of the ship. Uh, so I guess I gotta go to the island, right? The lighthouse island. It's not really an island, but everyone calls it that. <laughs> go figure! <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> the lighthouse has been operated by Alyosha and Ivan's family since we were children. Thank you for the education. A large fishing boat is anchored near the lighthouse. 
I wonder why it didn't go to the port. Anything else here? I don't think so. Just, oh my dear pal, what would I do without you? <laughs> ah, you've always been my wingman. Okay, so later on I need to meet her at the bar. But right now, okay, so that's where the bar is. So now I'm going to go directly to the lighthouse. Huge tree! Huge tree! This tree is damn huge! I wanted to be black so light coming from the lighthouse. Probably. The lighthouse! Its light has guided so many sailors to safety. Just thinking about it makes me erect. And emotional. Hello, sailor. It surely is nice to be out and about, Phil. Just make sure you don't get mud on your wheels. I just finished cleaning you. So, oh, rocks. These damn rocks like sharp as knives. Cool. Wonderful. I guess I'm going in the lighthouse. I'm going to check the lighthouse. Be right back, Phil. Watch the entrance. Take this Tommy gun if you need it. Ooh, we're gonna check it out. It's a mystery. Oh. Can I look at Little Tree? More rocks. The Zam rocks look sharp as knives. I feel like I've said this before. My left arm is going numb. Let's see. Knock, knock! Is anyone home? <sighs> Whoa, more black magic. What do you want, Wagner? I'm busy. Always a charm, Alyosha. I was wondering if you knew anything about the ship accident that took place on Friday. No. No idea. The lighthouse was functioning properly, so I'm guessing there was something wrong with the ship. Look, Wagner. I need to get going. This place is a bitch to maintain. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, bye! See you later, alligator. I don't need to ask Eliosha anything else. I'll come back later if I need any more information. Oh! Oh, I thought I was going in. Oh, I knocked in the door and she came out of the lighthouse. Gotcha. Gotcha. Go back to the path. Just a simple one in bath. They could have used something nicer for such an apartment building like the lighthouse. Alright, so... I'm getting out of here for now. I don't need... Do, do I need to go back to the office or am I just meeting... I don't know if I should talk to Phil again. Alright, so... Do I go... To my office or to Mermaid's Harp? Also, are all of these locations to be unlocked? That is fascinating. Let me just go back to my office. I want to see if there's anything I missed. A fire pack. I don't really need to find anyone's number. Newspaper. This front cover is all about Freddy's shipping accident to Polina. The reporter claims there's three main suspects. A lighthouse operator. Some claim that the light did not come up at dusk. The captain, the reporter's gut feeling, and the crew, some sort of smuggling operation or whatnot. Oh, and there's a note about the ship not being in particularly good shape. So, the main suspects are Alyosha, or if she's the operator, the captain, and the crew. Or some sort of mutiny. Here, Phil, hold on to this for me. It might prove useful. Okay, so there's some clues. So we kind of narrowed down the suspects a little bit. I don't feel all that hot right now. I'll wait until that big case comes along. Pfft, this is nothing. I don't really need to go through these files. It depresses me. There hasn't been a proper murder case in over five years. I hope somebody died in this one. Organized mess. I shouldn't touch this. It has more cobwebs than my Aunt Mary's attic. That sounds like an awful way to talk about someone's vagina. Ah, uh, I haven't touched it in years. It's got cobwebs in it. You got anything else about the, the photocopier? This cost me a pretty penny. It has been severely underused, according to my asshole. Why would I sit there? I have a perfectly comfortable chair here. Okay, so I just want to see what else was in in here so I think I'm gonna go come on Phil let's go investigate but I'm glad I came back to the office because I needed to get that newspaper so 
we're going to Mermaid's Harp now, which is the, I guess the pub, the bar, yeah. Um, anything, else? it looks closed. I think I have to come back during the night. Table. Somebody has already cleaned these up. I heard the pub has been quite busy recently. Use table. Huh, this looks like it's been used recently. Hence the name used table. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? I guess I'll have to come back later. Alright, so I'm supposed to come back at night time. Um, even though I need this figured out by the end of the day. So, I'm gonna leave this episode here and pick it up in the next one. Hope you're not bored, because I'm actually quite interested in the story. Um, I'm gonna pick this up next time. Be a feel free to check out the game for yourself, if you don't want anything spoiled. And check out the developer, because they're working on some great things right now. And all the developers in my Unknown Indie series. So, thank you guys everybody so much for watching this video. If you liked it! I mean, there's a like button on the page. That's what it's there for. And as always, I will see you saucy knaves in the next video. Just remember, stay saucy, my friends.